Hello Capricorn and welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are having a great day today. So let's see what's going on around you in love, what spirit wants you to know. Just take what resonates, leave the rest behind. I feel very much like this person, um, no matter what they're trying to do, their thoughts always seem to go back to you. Like you always are in their mind. I, I feel like this person, maybe they try to distract themselves throughout the day. You know, they kind of are taking things one day at a time here, you know. Um, that's the feeling that I'm getting. But they can't even make it through the day. They think about you like about 50 bazillion times. Um, they're starting to get kind of exhausted, feeling drained by this. I'm also seeing this this photo. Um, I feel like this person could be looking at your old photos, reading through old text messages, feeling homesick. Maybe you shared a home with this person before or you were in a commitment with them before maybe that you make them they you make them feel at home and so they're they're just wanting to come back to you okay they're longing for you wanting to come back to you they may be feeling trapped with a group of negative people and they don't know how to break away from that the only thing that they can do is get their strength and courage up okay um but they feel weak around these people. Like they, they, they may know how dark they are. If you look at this image, these are people who have a very dark aura around them. And your person is now vibing at a higher level than them. They're thinking about someone from their past, right? Their thoughts of go, are going to the past. And even if they're around this group of people, they don't want to be anymore. They, they kind of feel like they're starting to isolate themselves from a group. Could be friends, family, right? And I feel like they know they want to break away from this group. They know they want to get out maybe of a situation. This could also be somebody who's in jail, Okay, I'm just feeling like they're stuck in something or they feel stuck, cornered. Okay, um, the only thing they can do is speak up and that's going to take strength. And this is something that your person doesn't have right now. They just can't seem to find the strength to do it. Um, they're, but they're planning. Okay, I feel like they're planning and, um, and they could be doing a lot of crying as well. Um, but I feel like they don't let other people see them cry, okay? That nobody else really, I feel like nobody knows how they're feeling. And this group of people um, that's around them could be gossiping about you. I feel like people get together to gossip about you, to pick you apart, to criticize whatever it is that you're doing. You know, and this person can't stand it. And that's why they don't want to be in that group anymore. They could have been waiting for you to contact them, okay? Um, they may even right now, they're kind of wishing for that, okay? This is like a wish that they have, is that you would come forward and talk to them or that, that they could talk to you. They're seeing this coming to an end here. All of these flowers, that's telling me like it ber this person's in bereavement, right? They're mourning a loss, and I feel like that's the loss of you, the one that they're yearning for, longing for, okay? Yeah, they're, they have, this is somebody who literally hates wherever they are. It's making them feel sad, okay? Look, they're trapped in something or they're trapped around a group of dark, negative people. They're feeling really sad and they know they're just wasting their time wherever they are. They hate it there. They've got no zest for life. They're completely uninterested in wherever they are. This person, like I said, they may go someplace, um, you know, uh, someplace secluded, right? Um, a different room altogether just to cry. They, they are doing a lot of crying here. This is all tears, okay? But they don't let anybody else see them do it. Yeah. What else can you show me here for my beautiful collective? This one wants to come out. They're feeling so ashamed. Look, see? Here they are crying in a corner. Someplace. Locked away. Okay. 
they could actually be in jail. This could be somebody who may be in jail. And they're just, oh my gosh, they, if this person is in jail, and it's not going to be for all of you, but if they are, they're a mess. They're trying to cry and not let anybody see them. This person is feeling ashamed of how they treated you, unworthy maybe. They're feeling really small. And for some of you, I'm getting that this, this all stems from um, childhood trauma. Okay, they could have gone through something as a child. Maybe this person is, they've, something about their childhood trauma has made them feel ashamed of even showing people how they feel. Right? You know, like, it's, if this is a masculine energy, which I think it is, um, you know, they've been taught, don't, you know, don't cry about it. Or don't, you know, don't get emotional. Or, you know, keep your feelings hidden. They could just be with, yeah, they could just be with a karmic individual here, too. It doesn't have to be someone in jail, but they are stuck and trapped in something, okay? Um, if they're with a karmic... They may even have a baby with this karmic, and she's very resentful, okay? She's cold, she's bitter, and I feel like this masculine just wants to be free from wherever they are, but they're going to have to muster the strength and the courage to say something about it. They're going to have to do something about it, okay? I feel like you're in this energy here where you are making big, bold moves for yourself, okay? You're in this boss energy, very confident, very bold, very self-assured, and you're you're actually leaving all of this dark energy behind you. Look at how high vibing you are. Um yeah, this just no longer resonates with you. The the whole karmic situation, whatever connection this is, I feel like um you're enthusiastic for new things. You know, you don't want to be in this dark karmic energy. And as you leave this person's life, they're very panicked about it. Like, they know that you're going to be starting a new life without them. You could be dealing with a Leo, or you could be a Leo, maybe. You could be dealing with a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. You could be a Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. Look at how guilty they are. They know they're responsible for this, okay? They, I feel like this person knows how badly they hurt you. And they know that it's their fault for all of this. This person can't stop watching you. Um, they're absolutely fascinated. It says fascinated here. I feel like um, you're, you could have your own platform. You could be on social media. You could have your own website. You could have an ebook. You could be, you know, whatever creative project you're doing that people can see this person's watching you. Okay? Um, it could just be something you're posting on social media. You know, maybe you're uh, making a post about moving away. You know, or maybe taking a vacation. Any new endeavor that you're starting here. Um maybe you've mentioned something like I'm moving on with my life you know this person seeing everything you put on the internet all right I, I feel like they love what you're doing though you could be very skilled at something here very masterful um, they're fascinated because you know also this person knows all that they put you through and you're coming out with in flying colors, like seriously. Uh, you're having a major victory here. You're on a glow up. You're no longer hurting over this person. Yeah, look, you're leaving their life. And they're panicking about it. And they're feeling guilty because they, they know they don't have a reason to be upset <laughs> with you moving on. This person, I feel like they really put you through it. If you cover up the words of this card and just look at the picture, right? That's you taking your training wheels off. You don't want to be stagnant anymore. You don't want to move slow anymore. You don't want to wait for this person anymore to get their act together. Okay? 
Um, you're not going to wait for them to choose you. You know what? You're choosing yourself here and your future. And so you've taken the training wheels off. You've learned your lessons in this. Okay? And now you're ready to fly. And you're leaving this person behind like a ponytail in the wind. And they're standing back here behind you going, don't go. Energetically, this person... I'm telling you, they're pulling on your energy, too. You may even feel that, but you're not letting it stop you. You know that they're watching you. You can feel that, too, but you're not letting it stop you from moving forward. I mean, this person's giving you nothing. And they hate their life right now. They hate the mess that they've gotten themselves into. Okay? They hate wherever they are. You know? There's literally, there's, they have no excitement in their life. Uninterested, apathetic, jaded, and bored. Knowing that they're just watching time tick by. Yeah, I feel like with whatever you're doing out there, um, they admire you, okay? Not just for what you're accomplishing, but for how you've healed and gotten over some major heartache and betrayal. Okay, this person could be trying to telepathically communicate with you as well, but that's not going to work. I'm seeing determination. I'm feeling like you've just had enough of this, and um, yeah, you're moving on, collective. Yeah, they want to talk to you so bad. I'm getting that this person may be looking for... Um, like some kind of reason to come back in, you know, besides an apology that they owe you, right? I feel like they, they may want you to need them for something, but you don't need anybody in the energy that you're in. Um, and I feel like you're moving on single right now. Uh, you may be even meeting somebody new. Yeah, see, you don't need anybody in the energy that you're in. You're very victorious, accomplished, and masterful. Um, yeah, they would be very relieved. If you, like, called them up, right? That's this. If you called them and said that you needed their help with something, that would give them an in, right? But you're not giving them that. You're not inviting them anywhere. Yeah, this person's very discouraged. They're going to be waiting for a long time for you to need them because you just don't. Not in the energy that you're in. I'm feeling empress energy off of this. And you're attracting new things to yourself now. They can't believe that you're leaving their life. I mean, this is really hitting them like a ton of bricks. Okay, it really is. It's knocking them right off of their bike, right? See, and th this is another thing. They, they want you to turn around, right, and try to talk to them or ask them for help in some way. But they're actually the ones that, you know, they may need some help with this because I feel this draining this person. They're, they're feeling weak. They need to get their strength back. They need to get strength and courage to face this head on. You are not going to come to them. You're not going to invite them to anything. You're not going to be asking them for any help. Um, you're not going to be contacting them first. If they've wronged you, which they have, their conscience is eating them up inside, okay? They know they're responsible for this. They're feeling guilty. Um, if they wronged you, they need to tr they need to take that first step in making it right. You're not going to give them a an invite, okay? Yeah, they would be soothed and at ease. Look, they'd be very relieved if you called them needing needing their help. Why would you call somebody who hurt you so badly? Um, chose someone else over you, why would you call them for help? Do you know what I'm saying? With anything, like, oh, you need a tree branch cut down? I can do that for you. You know, you need me to find your lost cat? I'll do that for you too. <laughs> you know, it could be anything. 
If you called this person, man, they would come running. I'm telling you. Yeah, they're feeling very vulnerable. Like this person, maybe they thought at one point they would get another opportunity to come back in, but you you are not giving, just handing them an opportunity. They've had an opportunity every stinking day that they've woken up has been an opportunity to make something right. We're talking about a grown adult here, okay? But they're feeling more like a child, you know? And I feel like that's, I feel like this person's scared. They're afraid to come back in. They don't want to come back in without a defense, but, you know, they would rather have you calling them in need, you know, and you're not going to do that. And you leaving them behind, I'm telling you, it is like a, it's like them being hit with a ton of bricks. They can feel that. They, they can, they're watching you leave their life and they just can't, it's, it's, they're having a hard time accepting it. That's the feeling I'm getting. They're having a hard time accepting it. Um, and if I feel like this person, they don't want to come to you weak, you know, they don't, they really don't think if they approach you that you'll even talk to them or give them another chance. But honestly, that you're not going to go chasing after them, you know, yeah, it's making this person feel stressed out, powerless. Like, what can they do or what can they give you that you don't already have or, uh, you know, yeah, you don't need, you don't even need them. You don't. And they know that. Yeah, they're under a lot of stress. Um, yeah, look, and they're hopelessly in love with you. Oh my gosh, this person is just praying for a miracle here. Please. Please do something so that the collective needs me so they talk to me and call me or text me so that I can finally talk to them again. You got to be kidding me. They need to get their strength up, okay? I feel like, too, this person doesn't want to come towards you like with their tail tucked between their legs, but you're leaving their life. You're leaving their life collective. Um... And boy, they are suffering over that one. Um, let's see what they want to say. This is a lot of emotion, okay? This is a lot of tears, waves crashing over them. It just feels like it's giving me the feeling of um, how your gut just sinks, right? When it goes over a roller coaster. Uh, that's the feeling that I'm getting because this person knows they're in love with you. What does this person want to say to my beautiful collective? Yep, and I knew this was going to come out. We need to let each other go. I knew that you were going to say something first. So, I mean, the, in the reading, right? Um, yeah, I feel like this is your energy, that you're letting this person go because they're not giving you anything. You know, it's keeping you in stagnancy. But I do love you. I just don't know how to show you right now. See, that's what they're saying. Don't forget about me. Coming in underneath, uh, right underneath, we need to let each other go. But don't forget about me. I haven't forgotten about you. I'm not the same person. See, that's what they're saying. And I feel like this person has changed to a point. You know, all around them, I, I'm seeing this higher vibing color, right? So they're, they're like this, right? They're, they are changing. They used to vibe at this, at this dull color like the rest of their group, okay? But now their vibe is changing as they think about you, the person from their past. But yet at the same time, they're still stuck in something. They still haven't approached you. They're still praying that you will approach them first. This person needs to get their strength and courage up. They need to be able to, to meet you at your high vibing level of energy, okay? And you're just, you're, you're vibing very uh, vibrantly, <laughs> that's what I wanted to say. Um, you're not at the same level in energy, okay? 
the universe is fighting for our souls to be together. I, I'm learning a spiritual lesson. I struggle with revealing my true feelings and emotions, but I love you more than you think. Yeah, this person's just somebody who's keeping it all inside, you know. I hurt myself by letting you go. I know I was wrong by not talking to you. Would you be open to talking now? Yeah, this person wants to talk, okay? I remember how we used to talk for hours about everything. I miss you. Yeah, I'm so in love with you. You're so perfect to me. Yeah, this is what they want to say, how they're feeling, okay? Um, what is this person going to do? Like, what action are they going to take? Because right now they're just hoping and praying that you'll turn around and talk to them and ask them for some kind of help, and that's not going to happen. What action is this person going to take towards my beautiful collective? Yeah, here comes an apology and a love offer. So I feel like eventually um, in Knight of Cups energy, this person's going to reach out to you. I feel like whoever they're with knows it. What's this one? Yeah, I'm getting the sense that whoever they're with knows it. Yeah, but see, here's the thing. They're going to have to speak their truth to someone. They're going to have to bring justice and vindication to your name. Um, I feel like for justice to be out here, a huge injustice was done to you. And they need to make it right. Okay? And I feel like, um, I feel like they have to get through a, a karmic in order to do that. I want to see what fell on the floor. Yes. And that is a yes. That's a yes. Oh, wrong deck. Shoot. Sorry, guys. I grabbed the wrong deck out of force. I have it. <laughs> Depressed is on the bottom of the deck, by the way. All right. You could be dealing with a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, Leo, maybe. Heavy on Libra. Yeah, and there's the Leo. Okay. So, yeah, this person, they're about to come towards you and confess how they feel. Okay. Um, I feel like it's going to take some time to do that, though. Yeah, because you moving forward is too much for this person to bear. It is like, you know, being hit with a ton of bricks. This is a tower moment. This is something sudden, a sudden realization maybe that you're, you're leaving, you're done with this. What's this one? Yeah, you've got your boundaries up, you're not backing down, you're not bending, you're not caving, you're not going to go after this person. You're in this peaceful, calm energy, this is being healed, this is getting over them. Oh, hold on just a second. Yeah, this is getting over somebody, you know, star energy, you're in the public eye doing something, you know, um, they're watching you here, you're attracting a lot of attention to yourself as well, but you're not going to be going towards them, they have to make the step towards you, so here they come to confess, okay, they will be coming in to talk. Um, with the sun and the ace of swords out here, I feel like they want to confess everything. All right. Yeah. You're everything to this person. Look, and you're just focused right now. You're, I feel like you're focused on new love, right? If you're going to get some with somebody new, you want it to be an emperor. And I don't feel like this person is in emperor mode yet. So you have a new emperor coming into your life. You may have already met somebody new. Because now we've got an emperor to a, an empress in the minor arcana. This And an empress energy is in this. So I feel like this is a good match for you coming in. Or that you're, or you're going to remain single until you meet an emperor. 
okay? And I feel like you're, um, you're not going to settle for anything less than what you deserve. You, you don't want anybody if they're not an emperor energy. You know, um, they've got to be, they've got to be vibing at your same level. Okay? So some of you are just like celibate now, holding out for the real deal. Somebody who's going to match you in every way. You may see this new person coming in as a manipulator. Okay? I feel like, yeah, but they're coming back in. Four of Wands energy. You want something solid. You want something stable. You want somebody who's going to commit and be loyal and dedicated to you. Period. Done. Yeah, you want a commitment. Dang it. <laughs> you want a healthy relationship with someone you can trust. Okay? You're not asking for a lot here. That's a normal thing. Or it used to be. Or it should be. Okay, you're not going to allow somebody to just, you know, um, come in and out of your life. And I, this person is stuck somewhere. They're going to have to boss up, tell the truth, or maybe um, this person, there's someone here that's possibly in jail. But yeah, you've waited long enough. You have waited and been patient and flexible with this person, and I feel like you're just done. You know, you're moving on. You want to put this behind you. You're going to calmer waters. You could even actually be moving away. But you're tired of people misjudging you. You're tired of people talking about you behind your back. You're tired of waiting in stagnancy. You know, um, I, I feel like you know that you're a high-value individual, right? Right? I mean, with the Nine of Pentacles, Empress Energy, you're a high-value individual. If this person d still doesn't know if they want you or not, phew, I feel like you're gone. And you are going to be holding out for somebody who's going to stand by you, defend you, defend your connection, and be loyal and strong for you, period. Period. And I feel like that's somebody who's coming in, okay? feel like you are about to get a new soulmate connection, one that you deserve. Will this person from your past come back around? Yeah, they are. They're coming back around with an apology and a love offer, okay? But, um, you know, they may, not, they may be coming to you already with someone else, you know? They may not even be single yet. So, yeah, I feel like you just want to put this energy behind you, collective, right? So, in the future, I feel like you will get an Ace of Cups, a blessing in love with an emperor. This is somebody who's coming into your life or you've already met them, right? So, yeah, I'm seeing this as a connection that's coming to an end, I've got to say. But this person from your past... Um, it, it is hitting them like a ton of bricks. I might just title the reading that. Anyway, that's what I've got for this quick check-in.